Hello, my name is Heather Knox. I'm the Chief Executive here in NHS Lanarkshire. I want to start by talking a bit about where we're at in terms of this third wave of the COVID pandemic. Within our acute hospitals today, we have around 300 patients uh, who are COVID positive, And I think we had 358 new cases reported for Lanarkshire residents today. Um, so we're well into the third wave. We've done some modelling as we always do with our partners, Strathclyde University, and that's showing us that the numbers will are expected to increase over the next few weeks and could possibly go up to double that. Now, that's a worst case scenario, but uh, we are planning for that. And with that in mind, you'll be aware that we've taken down an awful lot of the um, elective activity over the three hospital sites. It's with a very heavy heart that we do that because I absolutely understand the plans that patients make, relatives make, carers make for people to come into hospital um, and these, these operations are very much needed. Uh, however, we do need the staff to redeploy to support uh, those patients that we're expecting with COVID, unfortunately, over the next few weeks. We've also taken a targeted approach to our outpatient clinics, uh, so they haven't all been stood down. Uh, and if, if patients are, are contacted, then they shouldn't come, but otherwise people should turn up for appointments as previously planned. So if you do have friends or relatives who are asking you that question, it'd be really helpful if you could pass that on. Um, the other thing I was going to mention today was just a bit about retail and the shops. We are seeing with our new cases now quite a high correlation with retail as somewhere they've been over the last 40 hours. Um, so have, have a good think um, about how often you need to go to the shops. Uh, they obviously are a source of contamination. We're seeing some action nationally now across some of the big supermarket chains, which is great. And they're taking, um, I would say, more responsibility um, for ensuring that people comply with wearing masks and the sanitation measures. Do make sure you sanitise your hands when you come out of the shop as well as going into the shop. Um, and protect yourself as best you can, uh, keeping your distance from people at all times. So if you can do anything to pass on that public health message, I'd be really grateful. I'm hoping to get together the local heads of uh, chains like Tesco's, um, Morrison's, etc. over the next few weeks, hopefully for a call, just to reinforce that social responsibility element and see if we can get some of the, 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 can, the, um, some of the incidents down in Lanarkshire as a result of that. Um, finally, I just wanted to say a few things about vaccination. The vaccination programme is going really well in Lanarkshire. Uh, we are now nearly at the end of the first phase of that vaccination, which as you will know was uh, NHS and social care workers and also the over 80s. Uh, we've vaccinated nearly all of our care home residents now. We've been into every single care home where there wasn't an active outbreak and we'll go back and finish that over the next few weeks. Then moving into February, we'll start to do the over 70s uh, for the first two weeks of, of February. So that's going really well. We've got great support from our local authority uh, colleagues in terms of setting up the premises now for the final stages of that vaccination programme going forward over the next few months. OK, I'll end just by saying look after yourselves. This is difficult. Um, and I'm really grateful to everybody for all, all the efforts you put in every day looking after our patients. So thank you again for that. Thank you.